All right. <laughs> okay, okay. This is awesome. Just thank you all for coming again and thank all of you for coming. This is this is our first like big hybrid thing in a long time. And just for it to be a reunion social, it's gonna be just an awesome time. Um, and just celebrating one, just the year that we've had. FTC history. Um, Alex is going to speak about that, um, and also just like what's coming ahead and sharing some great memories because we've had a lot of great memories in the club for the past year, and just like a lot of great community moments. So we're excited to just share about that, and it was also just fun networking with all of you and just talking with all of you because I mean like all of us together in one place, like online and in person. Uh, yeah, it's something special because we haven't really done something like this in a long time. There are few and far between, so. Yeah, just thank you all again for coming by. I just love spending time with you guys. And <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. So with that being said, we can start off the main presentation about FTC history. So yeah, thanks again for coming to our reunion social. And I think we have a few different bullets that we want to share with you all. First is FTC history. And Alex is going to talk about that. And then we have our year in review. We're going to talk about just the past couple of semesters in, F, uh, in FTC, the events that we've done, the programs we've done, and just community highlights, favorite memories, things like that. Uh, and then finally, we're going to go through a couple last bullets, the memories, just sharing some pictures, uh, sharing some highlights of what people said were their highlights of the year, uh, and then doing recognitions, the main part where we just honor like all our members, all our just everyone who's been involved with FTC this year, and of course, our graduates, the guests of honor. So. We're excited to be doing all of that, and we can start off with FTC history. All right, you're up, Alex. Where's the best place to stand? Perfect. Okay. Well, it's great to be here. Um, FTC started back in 2000. Um, Let's see, I'm a little bit of introduction first. I'm, I'm Alex Garcia, currently uh, a uh, director at the Society for Technical uh, Communication Florida chapter, also the vice chair right now of the um, Community Affairs Committee um, at the kind of the international level. So we help out different uh, chapters that uh, have questions of how to be uh, more successful. Um, and currently, uh, a senior technical communicator at Lockheed Martin Center uh, just over 10 years with the company. Um, I graduated in, uh, from UCF in 2007. Uh, so, right after UCF, I started uh, as an engineer at the uh, Kennedy Space Center with the uh, United States Alliance on the Oil Program. Uh, hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Alex, can you come a little bit closer? I can't quite hear all you're saying. Okay. Perfect. So Thank I'll you. I'll project this way because I was projecting over here. <laughs> All right, here. Thank you. Um, where should I back up to? Like, I, I think we were hearing about when you graduated. Okay. So I graduated in 2007. I was part of uh, FTC and STC the whole time. Um, started at the Space Center as an engineer um, and then transitioned over to uh, Lockheed Martin as a technical communicator where I've been pretty much my whole career. Um, so FTC started as a organization here in 2000, in 2000, but the formative year was the same formative year as, uh, SDC Florida, um, 2003 was a very important year for FTC and SDC. Uh, we had, uh, SDC had Mike Murray, who was a very influential president, um, and along with Bonnie Spivey, who was the. Uh, first influential president of the FTC, they got together and they uh, devised a plan to really reach out to students, uh, not as a uh, student chapter of SDC, but rather a uh, sister organization between SDC and the University of Central Florida um, in a way that could be mutually beneficial. Uh, from that um, partnership came the mentorship program, who was uh, devised by Dan Boss. And so that was, uh, that partnership flourished and has helped over probably 200 
uh, mentors, mentees over the last uh, 20 years. So um, I joined SDC, FDC and SDC in uh, 2004, um, went to our first uh, conference back in, uh, it was in, in Baltimore and I went to a total of four conferences with FDC. So we would go to the, um, to the SGA meetings, ask for money. So we would go with, with Dr. Applin and um, go there and they would have to read our, our bill three times and then vote on it and, and, and debate on it. And uh, um, back then, as, as I was uh, sharing earlier during the networking time, uh, it was all face-to-face -face meetings. Um, we would get together usually on Saturday mornings and get together with an FCC person and they would come in and uh, tell us about the, the tools that we were not uh, learning about yet in, in classes. Like um, I know one of the big ones was uh, Microsoft Word styles, which was important back then uh, to understand the, the templates and everything. Uh, also uh, frame major things like that. So uh, it was a lot of uh, tools uh, um, enable uh, workshops. Um, and then when I graduated in 2007, I still stayed pretty involved with FTC and SDC. I was, uh, for one year, I was the um, mentoring chair on the SDC side. Um, and I know that that program has continued uh, throughout the, the years. Um, after that, um, there was generations like Bethany's generation. Um, that's when uh, she stepped in and uh, led the, led the group for about a total of four years, I think. Bethany, around there, um, and then the uh, next generation stepped in, and then obviously now we got all the way to John. So, uh, S FTC SDC partnership remains uh, strong, and uh, we hope that it continues for a long, long time. Hearing about how really this FTC spans so long and also just the partnership spans just as long. Absolutely. It's really important, um, you know, to get that thing done. Right. Yeah, it is. And the fact that that's kind of its foundation of FTC, even though it's not an FTC student chapter, it has, has a lot of professional support. and. I feel like that's what keeps everyone coming back, just exactly. the professional support coming in and being able to just learn things. And I think it was designed uh, not to be a uh, student chapter just so that uh, we could get the funding from the university. Yeah, absolutely. It's important everybody pays their activity and service fees. So. Yeah, so we got to make use of UCF money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we can talk about our year in review. And we've just highlighted the different programs that we've done, the different meetings that we've done, and put some pictures up too, just to share uh, the great times, entertaining times, and also just informative times that we've had. So fall 2021 feels like 10 years ago. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like it was last semester because uh, that was our, at the, right at the top, that was our first uh, game night that we had, uh, our first social in the fall semester. And that was online. We just hung out, played some Zoom games, and, or played some Jackbox games, and uh, yeah, so we surely started building up and welcoming the team and welcoming all our new members. And it was a fun time. And throughout that, yeah, we started off, had our elections, had a game night social, uh, started up the mentoring program, and just we started doing some workshops after that. So, like Caitlin and then the WK Power Workshop, and now we're going to be going through all the ins and outs of this. Hey, sorry, sorry, John. I don't mean to be. Interrupting. We can't hear you when you turn your head. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think okay. that the sound goes sideways and it doesn't come up towards the laptop. Gotcha. I can point it towards me and point towards the camera a little more. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. But yeah, I was saying that um, fall had a lot of great events like our socials and welcoming new members at the start. Uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Workshop, which was really great and informative by Caitlin. Had Halloween game night too. Uh, some of us dressed up in costume. <laughs> it just that was a super fun time. Uh, and then uh, had a WordPress workshop with Ben and 
a couple other things too, like just a full wrap up and a D&D session. So fall was a great time. We had a good mix of socials and a few online events and got the chance to meet up in person after a long time too. That fall 2021 is the first semester that we were back in person after the pandemic. So we're slowly but surely just building up that community again and doing some fast paced um, programming throughout the semester. Uh, but a lot of fun times and some great workshops being done too. And so next semester in spring, this semester, this semester feels like <laughs> a lot of things happen in fall. And this is part one. <laughs> so if fall felt like it was 10 years ago, spring has felt like it has lasted 10 years in a good way. <laughs> because That's awesome. Yeah, we've been, I mean, just from the picture, we've been able to have like online guest speaker meetings, um, Otronicon, which was a great volunteering experience, and uh, just so many different kinds of guest speaker meetings. We just, by the end of the fall, um, the leadership team just um, put together some ideas from members that we've been getting and just ideas that we've had ourselves. And we just thought, we have like 20 ideas that we want to do. <laughs> you know what, let's just do them. And we ended up uh, having meetings every week and some meetings we would do guest speakers, some meetings we do socials, and we really just jam packed the semester because we just kept getting things coming to us, um, like members with ideas. Um, we had um, a professor, Dr. B, reach out to us and say, oh, my students want to do a workshop on Madcap Flare. And so we made that happen. Uh, we had some members from SDC and FTC reach out and say, hey, I want to speak with the club. And so we had that happen. Um, L3 Harris, they just wanted to reach out to students. They said, hey, we have internship opportunities. Can we speak with them? We brought in the team. <laughs> so, um, and not even to mention like John Paz coming in and speaking with every month, speaking with us every month. Um, John is awesome. Just have to say that. <laughs> and all our speakers are awesome. And we're really thankful for just um, the opportunity that we've had. And uh, we'll go more into some of them as, as we go through like memories throughout the year. But yeah, spring has been a great time of just uh, just networking, growing as a community, growing as a team, and just really getting good guest speakers into the club too. And so the next slide is gonna just have the rest of our events from the fall semester too, or from the spring semester. <laughs> so a lot of extra stuff. And of course, the picture. <laughs> so as you can see, we had a lot of good guest speaker moments and also just a lot of fun times. Uh, at the bottom, you can see uh, we had our April Fool's game night played some great Twister and other games. Uh, we had our book sale just last week, um, a couple book sales um, in partnership with Sigma Tau Delta and lots more guest speakers too. So we rounded out the semester and had a lot of things that really just built up the community and built up um, just our experience as tech writers too. Um, we feel like it's just something that we, now that we have these connections, we want to continue them definitely. And uh, we're happy for just everyone who's helped us get here too because we didn't do this alone. We did everything because we brought in guest speakers because we had support from STC, from FTC alumni. Um, and that's sort of the heart of this whole reunion because everything that's happened in this like 20, 30 year long school year <laughs> has been because everybody has come to support us. And so we're really thankful for that. And then reunion social, you are here. <laughs> And just a few other things that we've been able to do throughout the year. We've had publications. Shout out to Zach uh, and also Danielle, who are on the publications team, have been putting out some great original articles. Um, subtle plug www.futuretechbookcommunicators.com. <laughs> <laughs> we got some blog posts up on there now and some more to come. Um, and also to Caitlin, too, we co authored an article on finding jobs. And so we want to just have an opportunity to put original content out on the website. So that's something that we've been doing recently. And yeah, thank you, Bethany, for straight up putting in the plug to the website. <laughs> so you can read them there. Uh, we also have the FTC t-shirts. And let me just put one up. Here. Oh, we have, we have t-shirts now. <laughs> we got t-shirts. And one of our members, Cora, made, made the design. And immediately, I think everyone was like, Yes, <laughs> we love puns and we love, I mean, we love t-shirts. <laughs> to start wearing mine. Uh, so the t-shirts are another thing we were excited about. We did a whole 
t-shirt design contest in the fall and then this is the combination of it so that's one more thing uh, the stc summit trip uh, we have been pursuing that because past two years it's been online and also just we've encountered difficulties with funding things and so this year we're like we're going to make it happen and so through just a lot of fundraising efforts a little bit of fighting with sda <laughs> Maybe, maybe quite a bit of waiting on SGA. Oh, we waited on SGA for so long. Anyway, <laughs> we've managed to get a lot of funding and secure our ability to go to the summit. So now seven of our members are gonna be going to the summit this year. And that'll be an exciting networking opportunity. And, and then, first yeah. First time in, I know it hasn't happened since I've been here. So definitely over three, four years, maybe. I think the last one might've been yeah, probably longer. I know for, for a few years, I was like, I'm not dealing with SGA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably has, not uh, since 2015. Yeah, probably since, yeah, years. Because yeah. I totally understand him not wanting to fight with SGA. <laughs> so it's been a long time. So this will be the first time in a while. And then last but not least, just the mentoring program. Uh, and we have a couple mentees here, uh, Janet and Caitlin, um, and myself, and a couple of our mentors on the call. So just a lot of just exciting mentoring pairing has been happening. We actually even had just too many mentees <laughs> this time around uh, in the fall where we're like, okay, we're spreading it into the spring. And then we got more people, more mentors in the spring, and we're rolling that out now. So, so much, so much in the mentoring program and just all our other programs too. So. Yeah, just on top of our meeting, just a lot of other community opportunities have happened. And now we can go on to some FTC memories. Yeah, so we have, <laughs> yeah. So quite a few memories, and I'll pass it on to Zach to talk about the memories that each of you have shared. Hey, everybody. Um, we got some of your favorite moments here today. Um, we have some uh, specific uh, testimonies from various uh, STC and FTC members. Uh, Alex Garcia, uh, <laughs> the 2006 conference in Las Vegas staying at the Excalibur. Sounds pretty fun. <laughs> when Bethany was at UCF, she worked for months with her mentor, Dan Voss, on writing a chapter in the engineering textbook. Getting to sign on each other's copies of the books was very rewarding. That sounds like it. Um, and Rachel really enjoyed networking and meeting other interested writers in STC um, and meeting professionals in the field. Joanna recently won the 2022 STC Student Scholarship. So. Got some, got some more moments here. Nicole really liked uh, the meetings, the presentations, um, and the resources uh, from FTC and STC, and also all of the pets that get brought on Zoom meetings. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of them. <laughs> um, Janet, uh, favorite experience was being part of FTC this year. Uh, she's met a lot of great people, like me. Uh, <laughs> um, we have a lot of great memories, all of us. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rough day, that one. I survived. <laughs> And uh, also Sarah remembers joining the FTC Discord uh, and really benefiting a lot from it, which is great. I know I, I appreciate Discord a lot also. Um, I'm, I'm in some other clubs and they don't use Discord as much. But uh, next slide, please. Caitlin really liked Otronicon. Um, it's a big favorite among, among the club. It was a lot, great time. Uh, we got to brainstorm um, and just hang out, run around. It was awesome. Um, Amy also loved Atronicon. Woo! 
<laughs> yeah, we got to talk to students and uh, and some of their parents and give a little presentation on TechCom. It, it was a lot of fun. And just running around the Science Center was awesome. Uh, and surprise, surprise, John loved the Tronicon also uh, <laughs> for the same reasons. <laughs> but uh, and part four, Kurt, one of one of our members, we we had a book sale recently. It was a lot of fun. Um, we sold a ton of books, um, all types of books. Uh, really great cover art. Uh, that was a highlight for me. <laughs> but uh, Candice uh, really appreciates the mentorship program um, and something like a murder mystery event. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah, I can't remember that one. Uh, the murder mystery event. That, that was, I believe, mine way back when. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hosted murder mystery parties. It was awesome. That was sounds awesome. cool. We got to bring that back. Oh, yeah. I've done like 15 of them. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and speaking of more games, uh, Brittany, Brittany really loves all the games. That's another one from the past. <laughs> yeah, could you tell us a little bit about that? I tried to explain this to John. I made it sound, I think, more boring than it was. There's a game called Pit where you uh, are trying to corner the market on a commodity by trading stocks, which are cards. Oats is one of the sample commodities, but essentially... Someone rings a bell. You all frantically shout at each other and throw cards at each other until someone wins. Um, it's it's sort of like playing spoons, but with more chaos. That sounds really cool, actually. It's before, awesome. Before the uh, there was internet trading for stock, <laughs> people on on the floor of the stock exchange oh, yeah. throwing yeah. papers around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And, and lastly, uh, James really, really loved the game nights. And, uh, I'm glad a lot of good times this year uh, and in the past. But yeah, we definitely got to we got to do some sharing games uh, for future uh, semesters. But uh, I think that's that's the rest of uh, our favorite moments. We're going to get into uh, recognizing our members, uh, our supporters and our members that are also graduating this year, so. <laughs> Sorry, John, are you speaking? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I realized again, yeah, I was near the mic. I'll just, I'll just... <laughs> but yeah, we want to honor the leadership team and uh, we want to honor just all our members first of all but especially some specific groups which have helped make the club and the community as great as it has and for the leadership team uh, just honoring everybody i'm not going to say my own name <laughs> but i'm up there and then caitlin uh, amazing vp and communications chair the whole entire year and ben our amazing website chair too and our treasurer and we've got zach a like fantastic historian and also just he always bring in the hype. You should have seen him at the book sale the other day. He was, we had a sign and he was spinning it around and just getting people in immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we should have. And then Danielle, also our secretary, also on the publications team, uh, both her and Zach uh, has been amazing throughout the semester and just a really great writer. Um, and Amy also, just amazing. I know it was really great seeing Amy uh, in person on the He's super uh, just can, one, can just you repeat great. sorry i'm not sure avi got to hear her words of <laughs> encouragement it got fuzzy <laughs> oh yeah for sure but i was saying just amy is a super star she is uh, just on the tech com side of things on the website side of things um and just super just super amazing to be around and i love just learning fun facts about her all the time like she raises chickens and she loves <laughs> and she loves just the outdoors and amy's great and then we have michael too uh, michael is just also fantastic. He's on our communications committee and he has done just amazing work of working together with Caitlin and uh, just helping out the team. So yeah, everyone on this team is just like, I just, I just want to give everyone thanks. Like, and let me, let me just say something about, about John. Oh, yeah. um, 
he, he's really, really great, great friend and leader. He's always uh, there to guide me when I don't know what to do. <laughs> and it, it's great. And, uh, it's it's been really nice to get to get to know all of the leaders, of course. But I appreciate it. But you like you've been so like. I feel like every time, like I need, <laughs> every time I need someone to like rely on, you're like, I got you <laughs> for like everything. And also just like working in publications with you and just get to know you, uh, just all of you on the team. And <laughs> I see you recording me, Janet. <laughs> okay, got you, got you. <laughs> yeah. But thank you to all of you and uh, just for being on the team, each of you and every one of you, I wanted to say, like, I, I can't say enough about just working with you and just sharing all these memories with you. So thank you. And next up, we have our Otronicon volunteers. And so I think we have the full Otronicon squad. I think so in, in person and online. So we've got Zach, Caitlin, myself, Amy, Janet, and Cassandra, Otronicon squad. <laughs> so we already mentioned it before, that was tons of fun. And uh, we also just, we put a lot of work into making the presentation. So thank you all for sticking through it. Like those times, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin made the script, an entire script, by the way. Like, I always like how. <laughs> no, I really should. Yeah. Also, just like I mean, we didn't know that you could just put a whole script out in so short. <laughs> We just underestimated how talented you were. What can we say? <laughs> no, don't do it again. You're like, I'll do this once. But yes, that, that was amazing. And thank you, Kaylin, and, and everyone for just helping out. It was a great time just making that presentation happen, uh, doing the play, uh, just going to the library and working on details the week leading up to it, um, and presenting with the team. Just it's something that really was a group effort, and we're thankful for it. And then picture of us doing the play. <laughs> That was a fun time. And so next up, we have just a list of our mentors and mentees. There really were a lot this year. <laughs> Between uh, just in the fall and in the spring, we have so many. Um, just on the mentee side, we've got Joanna, Yahushua, Samantha, Janet, Caitlin, Jaisi, um, mentors, Dan, WC, Lori, Brittany, and Dan. So, so many great pairings made in the fall. And then uh, this spring, we have a lot of mentees as well. We did a group B, uh, a group B with all the mentees that were remaining. So we have Julie, Danielle, Louis, Cassandra, Nicole, Amy, Sierra, and Kirsten, who are our mentees. And then our mentors are Laura, Rachel, Joe, and Maria. So lots of great pairings. And uh, I'm always just happy to hear from each of you when you say like your mentoring is going great because I mean, just being able to have that mentoring experience is something so valuable. And I'm just happy to hear that so far, all of them have been going really well. So yeah, just happy for y'all with the mentoring experience and just the mentoring program we've been able to uphold this year. And so don't worry, I won't list each and every name. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be here till five o'clock, <laughs> but we have, oh yeah, <laughs> the Zach's over there. But we have, uh, these are just everybody who's um, just officially put their name on our member list. And, and we just want to recognize everyone who's been a member and been involved in part of the club. And just so many. Is she? Yeah, I've been twice. He's just, she's that amazing. <laughs> yeah, so nice. She's on there twice. So we have all our members up here, our all official members, and even more who are, have just joined recently or are on our Discord, on all our plat different platforms, meet up with us in meetings. Um, and it just goes to show like the size of our community and how much it's been able to grow um, just from being able to offer a lot of programs and also just have events like this where we just have fun with each other get to know each other and uh, really just recognize all our efforts as technical communicators and i think it's something that is something that like you can't really replace you can't replace that community experience and so the members make the community so thank you to everyone who's just put their name up and just joined us and been part of FTC this year, which is a huge amount. And now the moment of truth, <laughs> the drum roll. 
we have our graduating members. There are a lot this year uh, between spring and summer 2022. So <laughs> we have 16 in total. And we just want to take time to honor each of them. And we're going to go through a few slides of that. Uh, but yes, congrats to all our graduates. And um, we're just going to go through just some recognitions. And um, I guess we can both say something about each of the guys if you want to. I put it in my alphabetical order. My last name starts with C of those first. So. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if he's the grad student. This is John. You may have met him before. What a great photo. John is graduating. Yesterday was the last day of class. Uh, he's graduated with a degree in English technical communication um, with minors in philosophy and computer science. Really cool. And uh, John loves to draw in his free time. Uh, yeah. Special hobby of his. And we can, I guess we can go back and forth. So next up, we also have Joanna. Uh, Joanna Donovan, she has been uh, just really great to, I've had her in class and she's been just great to work with. That's where I met her. And she joined FTC and slowly but surely just got involved in STC. She's a mentee now. And uh, she just, also, then she got the STC student scholarship. So since I met her, she just continues to uh, just impress me by one how talented she is, and also she's just a great person to know. And she's graduating this semester with her BA in English Technical Communication. And a fun fact about her is she designed and built gift back baskets for Bruce Springsteen's daughter and the 2008 Olympic Equestrian Team. So Joanna is a woman of many talents, and <laughs> that's I mean that's something really cool to being able to just connect yourself to uh, someone who's in the spotlight like that or people in the spotlight. So just congrats to Joanna and this huge accomplishment. And we're happy to take see you graduate. And then we got Janet. <laughs> Our one of only Janet. So. I don't think I've ever met Janet. You don't know why? No. It's not, it's a minor. <laughs> Congratulations, Janet. Janet's really cool. Um, <laughs> creative writing is a minor, like, uh, not a certificate. I made these slides. Uh, I'll these take slides? full responsibility. <laughs> so a minor, is it is it a minor in creative writing and a certificate in editing and publishing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You heard it first here. Uh, <laughs> um, and and yeah, Janet loves hiking. Look at this wonderful photo she provided with us. That is in Tennessee. Um, I forgot which name of it, but it's very nice. Um, no, it's near Nashville. It's like an hour. It's in Cookville in that area. Okay. Very nice. I'm trying to go look over the name of it. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, grad, get up here. It's a very small state park if you ever want to go. It's very nice. Um, yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> gonna let Kurt into the room. But I went to that one, and I also went to the weather. Janet, Lori says you're awesome. Oh, actually, let me step away from there. Wait, where am I supposed to Right there. Yeah. One more. I like that one you just hold like that. And in my frame. I have to say thank you, Lori. <laughs> Wait, should I say? Hi, Lori. Um, so Hi, Lori does the good news. <laughs> um, I got a job offer um, this semester, so I have to thank Lori for her guidance and helping me. Well, we're thrilled for you, Janet. We really are. <laughs> but thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. And we could head on to the next grad. 
Yeah, so Nicole has been an amazing member of FTC. And just the other day, she dropped a message in the Discord just saying how much she's enjoyed being part of the community. And like, it's been amazing having her. Like, she's uh, just a great member of the community and just a great friend to us all. And we're excited to see her graduate this spring. And the fun fact is that she has an adorable, adorable dog named Charlie. I mean, look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. So cute. <laughs> So congratulations again to Nicole. It's going to be really great seeing you graduate. Caitlin. <laughs> Here we uh, we have our graduate, Caitlin Hunter. Caitlin has earned her degree in English creative writing and a minor in technology communication. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's a certificate. Um, fun fact, you want to tell them about your fun fact? Okay. Um, sure. So I've actually finished the second draft of a book called Hunter 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 All right. Sarah. So we're excited to see Sarah graduate and she'll be joining us at the STC Summit too. Um, and that'll be a fun experience. And uh, just from knowing Sarah already and working with her to be on the STC Summit, I'm excited to get to know her more and just get to uh, just like be with her in FTC. It's already been great having her as a community member. Uh, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds for her too. She has a BA in writing and rhetoric, a minor in technical communication, graduating this semester. And a fun fact, if she could only eat one food for the rest of her life, it would be sushi. <laughs> you know, good taste, good taste. <laughs> yeah, congrats to Sarah. Then we got Amy. Amy, congratulations. I'm, I'm so glad you could be here with us today. Um, Amy, now you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on this because I also made this slide. <laughs> Amy is earning her degree in uh, a master's degree, master's of arts in English technical communication at UCF. Mm -hmm. um, and she has a cactus named Gladys, right? Gladys, Gladys, Gladys the cactus. Gladys the nope. cactus. Gladys the cactus. <laughs> so no pets, but I have one plant. Cute. Thank you. <laughs> and and I just want to say I'm I'm so glad Amy was in the club uh, as a as a master student. It was really uh, inspiring to to hear from her and and all of her her past uh, professions and just a really really good team player. Oh, thank you. We weren't able to submit um, any photos or anything, but we have all of their uh, graduation information. We want to go through it. She is graduating with a BA in English, technical communication, uh, the spring semester. So, congrats to Jayazi. Um, Shaylin, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, is receiving a, a degree in English technical communication and has a minor or certificate in leadership studies. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> then we have Christine, who's graduating with a BA in English, technical communication, a minor or certificate in religion and technical and cultural studies. 
uh, graduating this semester. So congrats to Christine. Um, Danielle is is also an, another master's student uh, graduating with a degree in English uh, technical communication. And uh, yeah, give it up. <laughs> And last on this page, we have one more page of grads is Dr. Jessalyn Parrish. Yeah, she recently got the title of doctor. She completed her, uh, she defended her dissertation and we're super excited for her. And Jessalyn has been fantastic to know in the club. And so she's gotten her PhD in text and technology, digital media, and her graduating semester, this semester. So we're super happy for her. Congrats to Jessalyn. And fun fact, she's the one who put us on Otronicon. So, Thank you extra to just <laughs> We have Ryan, who's a graduate that is receiving their BS in material engineering so that is part of the club. Um, I, for one, love to see people outside of TechCom coming to the club because it, it shows just how important it is. So, give it up. Approaching the last few, we have Leslie Vernon getting a BA in English Technical Communication with an AA in Journalism, graduating this semester. So let's give our congrats to Leslie. Linda is receiving a BA in English Technical Communication and graduating this semester as well. We have Samantha Walker graduating this semester with a BA in English Technical Communication. And we are super excited that you're graduating and happy to be a part of FTC. And then we have some words of encouragement for our grads submitted on behalf of some of our members and alumni. So, I guess, All right. So, I could take this page then. We have a lot of great words of encouragement here. Uh, from Rachel, we have don't be afraid taking a risk. You might get a job and hate it, but you'll experience and understand of what you like and don't like. So it's never a failed experience. And Brittany says, dream big, never settle and be confident. Joanna says, every experience is a learning experience. Always focus on the good and learn from the bad. James said, keep on swimming. Yes to that. <laughs> Kurt says, you're all going to make it. Always remember that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Bethany says, You'll be surprised how much you'll learn it on, in your first years on the job. True that. And then Alex says, the connections I've made through the Florida chapter of STC have been very valuable. It's always who you know that helps you gain that next position. I would encourage you to continue your involvement with the chapter after graduation. Absolutely. All right, and then we got one more page of encouragement for each of our grads. Okay. Candice says, you made it. Celebrate and enjoy. Don't get wrapped up in accomplishments or the next big thing. There is joy to be found in every day, wherever you are in your journey. There will always, there will always only be one of you. So take care of yourself, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Congrats. It's really nice. Congratulations to all of you on your this amazing day in your lives. Now the wider world begin to benefit from all your hard work and commitment, the skills you've built and the insights you've gained. Although your professional lives might be starting in a world that may appear frightening in many ways, filled with what much, what might feel like insurmountable challenges, you have the opportunity to make a positive difference. You are the most technically literate generation on earth. That literacy combined with compassion, empathy, and the abiding focus on seeing that the good and moving towards the light will make your presence in this world a gift to future generations. You will make a difference. I wish you the best in everything. Warm regards, Lori Meyer. And that's it. <laughs> we have just a few closing items and we can go between those but yeah thank you all for your words of encouragement and uh, we're just excited to just send off our grads and to all our grads don't be a stranger 
uh, we're always what I mean as we're here we're always welcome to alumni <laughs> so we'll be excited to just see where all of your college take you all and so in closing uh, what a year <laughs> just congrats again to all our grads and we want to open the floor in case anyone else had any highlights they wanted to share or words of encouragement anything like that um, either from the call or online Yeah, I know for one, I'm super happy for, um, I was just gonna say, I'm super happy for all the grads and um, because of all the hard work put in, because um, it's never just um, someone just doing one thing, like just attending a meeting. It's them taking time out of their day to go to an FTC meeting or join STC. It's them taking their time to be part of things like this. And there's a lot of things also going on in the background, like. Um, a lot of our leaders are involved in other things. They're working at the same time. They're preparing for grad school. They're preparing for uh, just what comes next uh, for work. So just as something to all the grads, just y'all just being here is amazing. <laughs> and I appreciate each of you. Um, I would like to share a, a, a fun quote that I heard from a movie that I saw um, called um, The Right Stuff. Uh, Chuck Yeager was about to embark on his flight that broke the sound barrier. And as he was getting ready to take off, his wife told him, punch a hole in the sky. So that's what I leave you all with. You're amazing. Your accomplishments are impressive. Punch a hole in the sky. Mm -hmm. There we go. I love that quote. Yeah, thank you, Lori. Anyone else with any last comments? Anything for our grants? Go Knights. Go nice car job. <laughs> so after this, we'll have some just some time for socialize for anyone who wants to stick around. And um, yeah, we're just trying to just continue the conversation. And we're all going to just all our folks going to do our Discord. So um, we're just excited for just continuing to have moments like this and uh, just stay together in the community too. And as for future plans, we wanted to uh, just talk about a little bit about what the future holds for FTC or for FTC. Uh, one, we're going to the STC Summit in May. Uh, so that's one thing we mentioned earlier and we're super excited for that. Um, it, took, um, it took going through SGA and going through some other fundraising efforts, which one, thank you to all of our donors. Like, wow, the generosity has been fantastic. <laughs> there have been times when we got a message about this donation came in and we're all like, did they put next to zero? Like what? <laughs> Like it's been amazing on all fronts. So we want to thank them for that. And uh, we are, um, we're pretty much like 99%, not even graduates, like 99% of the way there to be fully funded. Uh, so we just have our fundraiser open and we have a slide about that coming up soon. But uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who donated and uh, we're excited to be going and we're open to just any support from any, um, any amount counts. And we'll of course be bringing up all of our experiences and things that we remember, uh, things that we want to share back with some um, FTC and STC, just to talk about what the summit is like. So everything that you pour into it will be pouring back right into our communities. And just a couple other notes, leadership training is coming up. We have a lot of new leaders. So that will be a whole new phase of transition for STC. So that will be fantastic. And we're thinking of putting out a survey in the near future, just to get some feedback from everyone at the end of the semester. like. How have you liked things? What's been your favorite moment in STC? Or what can we improve on? So that'll be circulating. And then summer break. Uh, for summer, we are just going to uh, do what we usually do during the summer, take a hiatus. We may have like a social or two or just something like that, but uh, we are going to be on break. And our main thing is going to be the summit. So we're looking forward to what the future holds. And up on the next slide is what I was mentioning earlier, which is in case you do want to support FTC going to the summit, we have our fundraiser up on GoFundMe. Uh, there's a link to that in the slides. And thank you, Bethany, for putting that in there. Uh, we're pretty much just at our goal to make sure that everything is accounted for in terms of our essentials. And yeah, if you go to that link, you can help us out. And of course, we thank everyone who has already so far. All right. And just a quick note, you can connect with us on Discord. You should join us on Discord. We have great channels, including the Pets channel <laughs> and of all our other resources. Uh, social media, website, more, all on our link tree. And thank you, everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
And we have, yeah, we have some graduates in, I mean, we have some graduates in the room right now. Like, shout out to James. I see you, James, and you're amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, grad, grads are always welcome to like anything that we do. So uh, we can definitely stick around. And so I'll end the recording there, but of course we can keep talking afterward. But uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who's watching the recording and joining on the call uh, for a really great meeting and just a great community time. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, John. Can we see the room? Can we say hi to folks again? Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Let me go around the room. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.